What's up, comic fans, webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you the latest FOC. This one is a huge one, guys. You're not going to want to miss this list. This list is powered by my local comic book shop, Comic Central, providing you some of the latest and greatest and the hottest comic books getting ready to hit store shelves. So, with, uh, so without further ado, everyone, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so we're going to kick this bad boy off with Batman Spawn. Now, these books are $6.99 and $7.99. I know the acetate covers are $7.99. And remember, these books come out on November 15th. So let your shop know you'll want these because these are going to be hot. Me personally, I am going to be buying every single one of these. They're just too good to pass up. Yeah, there's just some that are better than others, but they're all awesome in their own way. Check out these ones with the bats on it. Really, really cool. It's the first time where I'm seeing all of the Batman Spawn covers. This one's one of my favorites right here. This one's probably my least favorite. That's cool. They're all good. All right, so now let's go on to Strictly DC. We have Stargirl, The Lost Children, Issue 1, Jeff John's book. This is a mini series, one of six. And we get to see the couple variants or one variant cover that that one has. Then we have Dark Crisis World Without a Justice League Batman One Shot. Oh my gosh, this is still going on, and I am not going to be picking this up. I've decided to go against all these. Uh, one shots or tie-ins to Dark Crisis and then you have the variant cover for this then we have Harley Quinn the animated series Legion of Bats issue 2 so if you're in the Harley Quinn animated series we definitely have a couple of books there for you then we have this cool Wonder Woman issue 204 facsimile edition that is quite interesting this is the introduction of Nubia then we have Nightwing, issue 98, as this is the introduction to Night Might. I don't know what he's going to have to offer in the pages of Nightwing, but we'll see. And then here is your variant cover. That's a little weird if you ask me. Then we move on to Catwoman, issue 49. Uh, they're going to be versing each other, Catwoman versus Punchline. That, that could be something, I don't know. But this is a really nice cover. I really, really like that cover. Probably looks great in person. Then we have DC vs. Vampires All Out War, issue 5. I am not into the All Out War. I just read the main series. Great looking covers, though. Both of these covers. Absolutely gorgeous. Then it's 90s once again for the second week in a row as we have these 90 covers. We have Black Adam, issue 6. You have Catwoman issue 49. I'll be getting that one. That's a really nice one. Nightwing issue 98. You have Flash issue 788. Now we move on to Marvel. We have Avengers Assemble Alpha issue 1. So this is all the Avengers coming together for Jason Aaron's final hurrah on his run. And then you get to see some of the variant covers for it here. Next, we have Thanos Death Notes. This is issue one, spinning out of the pages of Donny Cates and Nick Klein's Thor. This is a one shot. So if you're into that story and you want to see a little bit more, go ahead and check it out. That's a pretty cool cover right there. It's like a movie poster. Next, we have Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise issue one. So this is a little bit weird in cover. <laughs> I'm on the fence about this one. I don't know what to expect here, so I might check it out. It's got quite a few variant covers, right? Too many for me. Then we have a big Hulk event. We have a Planet Hulk World Breaker issue one. It's not easy being gold. No, that's not that's not right. <laughs> that was for Spider-Man. This is Planet Hulk. That was the wrong description there. So here we got Planet Hulk World Breaker. So We'll see what this one has to offer. It's definitely a sequel. It's got Sakaar in it. And then here we got some more variants. And then we move on to Extreme X-Men issue one. The Extreme Team is back. I'll check this one out. This looks like something a little bit different than Krakoa. Maybe it's a own standalone book. We'll see what happens with it. Cool variant covers for it. 
That looks nice. I like that. Then if you're into your Star Wars books, we have Star Wars Revelations Issue 1. They can't miss Star Wars Issue of the Year after War of the Bounty Hunters. Huh? There's your variant. It's got Dr. Afra on there. That's a really nice cover right there with Darth Vader. Then, let's see. Here's more variants for that. That's cool. We got Yoda. That's pretty cool, man. Let's see what he has to offer. Then you got Peter... Miles Spider-Man Double Trouble Issue 1. So this is a great book for kids. I know they got Spidey and his amazing friends on the Disney Channel. So, you know, now you have this. And so this is a nice little way of getting into the Spider-Man character. So that's pretty cool. And then there's your variant cover. So that's pretty neat. And then playing basketball with each other. Nice little Peach Momoko variant. And then we dive into the amazing Spider-Man Issue 14. A Dark Web Prelude. Now, guys, this is going to be a spec book as this has the new villain of Hollow's Eve. So you're going to want to check this one out for sure because we don't know who this girl is or who this villain is. She could be Mary Jane for all I know. I'm taking a stab at it. You know, I'm calling it right here. So here's our main cover there. And then here you got a couple of the others, the other variants. That's cool, the Beyond Amazing one. Then we got Strange Academy Finals Issue 2, or Finals Issue 2. Looking forward to this series, man. I cannot wait. The first one's coming out very soon. I think it's this coming week. Uh, I'm excited. Love the original volume. This is a must for me. Great cover right here. As This is the Marvel Superhero card variants. So awesome. And then you got another variant right here. Then we move on to Strange Issue 8. As we're still dealing with the Blasphemy Cartel. A couple cool covers for Strange. I'm still reading this series not as strong as it once was. But a good series is Midnight Suns Issue 3. What a great looking cover. Great looking team overall too. Can't wait for this one. Here's your variant cover. And then we have our Fantastic Four Issue 52 Facsimile Edition as this shows the appearance of Black Panther. Now we move on to Indy. Only a couple here this time around. We have I Hate Fairyland Issue 1. <laughs> I can't believe this is returning for a second volume, right? So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this one. It's so crazy. I was not a fan of the first one, but we'll see what happens with it. Peach Momoko doing one there? That's pretty cool. And here we got this, I don't know what's going on in that one. There's a lot of variants for this. Holy cow, man. And then we got Voyagas, issue one. I'm not sure what that one is. And then we have Foulness in the Walls, one shot. And that's from Aftershock Comics. So there you have it, webheads. Now it's your turn. While you can, please let your comic book shop know which one of those Batman Spawn covers that you want so you don't miss out. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave you more content right here to check out. And as always, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you real soon. Bye.